Jay, even before Oshkosh starts, you guys are already making, well, waves, I guess would be the best way to start with it. Uh, talk to us about the PAV. What is it? PAV is personal air vehicle. This is an aircraft that's designed to take off and land vertically, but yet then cruise at high speed with the efficiency of a fixed wing airplane. It basically combines two technologies, a rotor on top for our slow speed and vertical takeoff, and then very small high aspect ratio wings for very efficient high speed cruise. Once we get into high speed cruise, we really don't need the rotor blade anymore. So we basically unload it, which we can because the wing provides all the lift and the rotor then slows way down to 100 RPM. The key to being able to do all this was the ability to slow the rotor down and still keep it stable. And that required us developing or resolving about nine issues, any one of which basically would keep you from slowing the rotor down. And if you can do that, you're going to get efficiencies on the order of general aviation fixed wing airplanes. And what kind of performance parameters are we talking about for any, one, any version of this vehicle? Well, this first very version is going to be just an auto gyro. It doesn't have the long span wings. It's got little bitty short that produce a little bit of lift. This aircraft with a uh, normal aspirating 350 horsepower engine at three quarters throttle, 7,500 feet, will cruise about 140 miles an hour. When we add the wings and a turbocharged, so that we can now produce our horsepower at 25,000 feet. Now we can cruise at about 250 miles an hour for about 1,000 miles on 400 or 500 pounds of fuel. Big, big difference in performance. But nevertheless, the gyro is a good place to first start and to demonstrate the jump takeoffs and to really check the whole system out. Jay, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. All right. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.